So, hello. Uh, once again, I am Mr. Irvin Sarmiento. I will be your subject teacher for Fundamentals of Accounting 1. So, at the end of this video, I will be orienting you the things that you need to have to pass the subject. I will also be discussing the grading system in the course outline. So, in accordance to the Department of Education, the grading system for Fundamentals of Accounting 2 is a bit different to your other subject. Or it is composed. The composition is the same, but the percentage is different. So I have here the written works, which is still 25%, composed of quizzes 10%, and prelims 15%. For the performance task, that is that is 45%. It is composed of seat works and major peta. So seat works will be 20% of your grade and major peta is only 25% of your grade. So kagaya ng previous semester sa tingin ko ang maging major peta natin will be announced by the principal. So Based on my subject, every time na magbibigay ako ng quiz that should be recorded as 10% of your grade, the name of the file in Genio will be quiz with the number. So, if I have two quizzes, then it would be named quiz1. Or quiz 2 and quiz 3 and so on. For preliminary examination, which is 15%, it is still a quiz type, but the file name is preliminary. For the seat works, it will be named activity 1, activity 2, and activity 3, and so on. But it is still a quiz type. So, para malinaw lang po sa lahat, ulitin ko. It, quiz ang nakalagay sa genyo. Pero, yung way ng name ng file ang magdi-differ sa kanya. So, kapag quizzes, again, quiz ang nakalagay. Pag prelim, may prelim muna kapag seat work activity. So, the difference of my grading system to other subject is the quarterly assessment. So, since I am a major subject or I'm a specialized subject na since ABM lang may accounting 1, the quarterly assessment is 30%. So, just to clarify, if you did not take quarterly assessment or pagsak ang inyong quarterly assessment, uh, mag-expect tayo na magkakaroon tayo ng mababang grade. So, if the exam is 1 to 30, the passing is 20, 20 to 23. At kapag nakakuha ka na ng 20 and below, make sure na ma-perfect natin si written works at si performance task para at least sumampa ng line of 8 yung grade. Pero kung hindi natin mapaperfect si quizzes, prelim, at si performance test, tapos mababa tayo sa quarterly assessment, 
huwag tayo mag expect ng masyadong mataas na grade. Kasi nga, quarterly assessment is 30% of your grade kapag ang points mo dyan is 1 or 2 lang. Huwag ka rin mag-expect na papasa. Kasi 70% of the component ay kailangan mong ma-perfect para lang ma-make up mo yung 30%. Pero, hindi pa rin siya sapat kasi ang passing natin is 75%. So, kung sa quarterly assessment, maka 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 ka, kailangan perfect mo na yung written works at performance task para makuha mo yung 75 So, pagandaan natin mabuti si quarterly assessment. Okay? Next is the grading requirements. So, kahit na online class, I will be requiring na magkaroon kayo ng sariling notebook to record the activities, to take down notes. Kasi ang accounting 1 ay may karugtong na accounting 2 na yung mga notes na ginamit nyo ng accounting 1 is gagamitin nyo pa rin in accounting 2. So, it is very important na matuto tayong magkaroon ng isang separate notebook para lang sa subject na accounting 1. And since you are Accountancy Business and Management student, kailangan matutunan tayo mag-manage na mai-organize natin yung files natin. Kasi one way of being yun, a successful accountant or business management student is to have compilation of your work para nakikita natin yung progress na meron tayo. Second thing is a calculator. So, since from the name itself, accounting 1, expect natin na magkakaroon tayo dito ng computations. So, ang calculator ay pwedeng hindi naman scientific. Okay lang yung regular na calculator. As long as meron tayong sarili nating calculator at hindi yung cellphone natin yung gagamitin natin for, cal for calculator kasi mas mainam at mas mabilis natin magagamit yung regular na calculator. So, kung meron yung calculator, yung common na nakita natin sa tindahan, yung malaki, better. Kasi yun naman talaga ang ginagamit ng mga accountant. Third is a journal notebook and ledger na sa journal notebook kailangan ko ay yung two columns lang. Ito ay until grade 12 naman natin magagamit. Together with the ledger notebook yan, grade, hanggang grade 12 din natin magagamit yan. So, it's very important meron tayo yung dalawang yan kasi Yun, ayan yung parang main topic natin dito sa accounting 1 and accounting 2. Tapos, meron pang isang klase ng notebook or i-verify ko muna kung meron pang ma meron pa kayong makukuha na 16 column worksheets. Ayan. 16 column worksheets. Kasi kung kakayanin ng oras natin, mas maganda na masimulan agad natin itong worksheets. Okay? So, yan yung mga mga kakailanganin natin for the subject accounting one. So, based from my previous experience ng pagtuturo ng online class, I will have an additional re reminders for you. So, first is always watch the video before the set of MS Team conference na 
common naman na kapag nagpibigay ako ng MS Team Conference is the second day ng pagpimit supposed supposedly meet online class natin. So whatever happen, yung first day ng meeting ng subject ng accounting one, kahit anong ginagawa nyo, itikil nyo, panoorin nyo yung video ng accounting one. Doon sa time ng accounting one. Kasi nilaan yung time na yun para sa accounting one. So, you watch the video, pre-made naman ang video, nasa YouTube, nasa channel. Kaya, pagdating ng second day ng meeting, magkakaroon na lang tayo ng conference clarifications at ayoko nang marinig ang hindi ko pa po napapanood kasi may ginawa pa po ako sa ibang subject. Second, late submission will have deductions. Since you are practicing of being a management student, um, It is essential that we learn how to manage. So, submissions, date submissions will have deductions since it is a practice for our growth na matuto tayong mag-manage and since hindi naman kaya habang buhay nag-aaral kapag kayo ay naging successful no hindi tayo nagsasubmit or kapag hiningian tayo ng something to deal with accounting hindi natin siya pwedeng ipasa ng date kasi ang bawat sandali na tayo ay malilate sa pagpasa natin is nagkakaroon siya ng malaking kapalit. So, ngayon pa lang, practice na natin na kung ang deadline natin is Friday. Friday lang. And para ma-distinguish yung late submission or yung late na magsasubmit isi-send nyo siya sa MS Teams. Yung sagot natin, doon natin ilalagay sa MS Teams. Tapos, every hour na late natin is equal to one point deduction. Okay. Third, so, since merong mga estudyante na nagtatanong until Minsan, umaabot ng 12 a.m. They will be practicing na questions will only be entertained until 5 p.m. every day. Except Saturday and Sunday, of course. Kasi marami rin naman tayong ibang bagay na ginagawa. So, para kayo din, hindi kayo ma... Hindi rin kayo masanay ang questions ay hanggang 5 p.m. lang ng weekdays. So, let's proceed with accounting one, the course outline. So, this, this is an introductory course in accounting, business, and management data analysis that will develop the students you to appreciate of accounting as a language of business and understanding of basic accounting concepts and principles that will help you analyze the business transaction. So, since this is introduction or introductory part para ma-grasp natin yung essence ng accounting at maitindihan natin kung gaano ka-importante yung accounting na medyo take natin slow ang ang mga topics na meron. So, for the first creating, subukan nating tapusin ang mga topic na to. So, we have the introduction of accounting, the branches of accounting, 
the users of accounting information, kung sino ba yung nangangailangan niyan, the forms, the different form of business organization, the type of business according to the activities, and lastly, the accounting concept and principle. Yeah. Itong first six lessons na meron kayo will require memory. Kailangan natin hindi lang ma-memorize kung ano tong mga tong lesson 1 to 6 pero maintindihan natin yung napapaloob sa lesson 1 to 6. So, ito yung magiging coverage. Pipilitin natin na ito yung magiging coverage ng first grading. And for the second grading ng second semester, ito yung mga topics naman na itatakil natin. So, we have the accounting equation, the type of major accounts, the book of accounts, the business transaction and their analysis as applied to the accounting cycle of a service business, and accounting cycle of a merchandising business. So, ito naman for the second grading. Pero, ito depende natin sa time. Kung pipilitin natin na I personally I will try na matapos hanggang lesson 9 ng first grading kasi ang kailangan nating mag-focus ng lesson 10, 11, and 12. Kasi ito yung pinaka-importante lesson ng Fundamentals of Accounting 1. So, since may video naman na provided, ah, medyo madali namang magiging madali at mabilis ang ating transitions with the lessons. So, I hope na papanoorin natin mabuti, maayos yung video. Na kapag meron tayong dinitindihan, panoorin natin ulit. Huwag tayo maboringan masyado dun sa video kasi ginawa yung video para sa atin. So, I will be doing my part. Sana kayo din. Gawin nyo kung ano yung part nyo. So, this is the end of the subject orientation for fundamentals of accounting 1.